First at five, here we are once again. It is election day in Georgia, the last stop on the road to November as candidates face off in primary runoff races. That's right. So from DeKalb County CEO to Clayton County Sheriff, we are watching the big races that matter to you and your community. We want to get straight out to 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter, who's been monitoring voter turnout for us, Brittany. So, Brittany, earlier today you were saying that it's been a little slow. Any pickup at all? Yeah, as we talked about an hour ago, voter turnout is expectedly lower than it would be for any other election. But we did speak with a handful of voters that came out and the ones that did show up today were very passionate about why they did. You make a difference. Believe it or not, it totally affects you personally. Small but mighty. If we don't select these at the local level, then how can we really expect the impact on the national level? The trickle of voters that showed up in Clayton County say they showed up for a reason. I want to make sure I'm voting because it's necessary to make sure you put the right people in because a lot of time we put the wrong people in and they're not doing what they're supposed to. I think the sheriff is a very lightning bolt thing here in Clayton County. Um, so I just want to be a part of the process. Incumbent Sheriff LaVon Allen and Clayton County Board of Commissioners Chairman Jeff Turner are competing to be the Democratic candidate for sheriff in Clayton County in November. The sheriff's race has gained a lot of attention over the last several years. Exercise your right because if you don't vote, it doesn't count. So you can't complain if you don't uh, put action to what is needed to be done. In DeKalb County, it was a similar turnout where some voters shared they came out to decide DeKalb County CEO. Former commissioners Larry Johnson and Lorraine Cochran Johnson are facing each other in the runoff. And since there's no Republican challenger, whoever wins tonight will take the seat. And while the voter turnout was overall low, the voters who showed up shared hope that things may change. I think it'll get better. The more we talk about it, the more we stand up for it, it'll get better. We just got to be patient with people. They have their reasons and we have ours, but we just got to be patient. And Gabriel Sterling with the Secretary of State's office has been posting updates on his social media. I've been checking there as well as the Secretary of State's office's website for updates. And it appears there's been no issues across the board. So overall slow day, but things are going pretty smoothly. Guys. All right, Brittany, thank you so much for that update.